Welcome YouTube, this is Acid Roots. I have a Fear Factory review for you, which is their highest selling album, Obsolete. Now this actually came out in 1998, and they have released albums up to 2015. I think they'll continue, but I kind of wanted to focus on maybe the reason why they haven't been able to get another plaque since, you know, 19 years ago. But the thing is, is really, this is a concept album, and the similarities to this group remind me of Rob Zombie, Orgy, and Static X. Those are some of the three things that you're going to find kind of a mixture of. It is industrial metal, which is a little bit different from new metal, but I am starting to approach that some. This is kind of a blend of new metal. It's got a little bit in there. I feel like the song Shock was one of such songs. But Static, but Static X kind of did the same thing. And really, big thing about that was, this record is known for a handful of songs. There were at least four attempts to chart on the radio, but only two of them really made noise. So this record went gold, which means it sold 500,000 copies. And the whole thing about that is, to me... If you don't know what a gold-selling record means, it kind of means that it's not exactly a noisemaker, but if, if you're into something, but you're not obsessed with it, I think you could probably stand to appreciate a gold-selling record. Rap records do the same thing, and you wonder why you don't hear about some of these guys six or seven years later. That's kind of the reason why. So gold is borderline, but... I appreciate this group, and I don't think that they fell off a bit, so, but I'm not going to know that until I listen to more of their music, but the two songs that charted were Descent, and it was either Shock or Descent, I think it was Descent, and Cars. Now, Cars is a cover song of Gary Newman, and is actually one of their most popular songs. The song from the 80s, you've probably heard it, and here in my car, that song, and they make it rock based, and it actually fits the song pretty well, and this is what kept Fear Factory's name in people's heads for a good while and this was 1999 so the album came out in summer of 98 but that lasted into 1999 now obviously unless you have an album from 1998 or so you're probably the version of the album that i received had the song cars on there but not all of them may have it so you know there's also another version that may have an additional four bonus tracks but i don't have that one so yeah, it's a recognizable song. It's good. Gary Newman is on the song, and it's it's a treat. You know, I, I really enjoy hearing the rock version of it. But don't for you know, obviously, if you like that, you can check out the original song. The next one is Descent, and that one kind of feels similar to songs like Mud Shovel and Control by Puddle of Mud. These type songs, this kind of a real low thumping guitar versus an extremely ferocious one and i like the feel of it i mean really that's a good moment but this is their only real song to chart for the most part and it's unfortunate because shock is a is a, another hot one all of the singles really happen to work for me except for resurrection and shock was yeah, that one is kind of the introductory one. That that seemed like it should have been the first single, and it's it's kind of similar to no, it's it, it's just a metal record. That that one really has it's a real ferocious record, and it's a good one to identify with. And so that leads me to the next part of the album. Which, you know, besides this being a concept record, it actually is kind of fun. But I do feel as if, if they just would have charted a bit more, this album would have made a lot more of an impact. And, you know, obviously, I don't know if 
uh, Fear Factory's best days are behind them, but I am kind of starting to cover some of these records that went gold, and it's important to understand that you know some of these, even though it's going to be not as common that you hear some of them, kind of like the Orgy record too, Candy Ass, kind of like the Orgy record Candy Ass, it, it's going to be, you know, you have to pay attention more to the songs that you wind up hearing. So, because they're not going to be heard every day. They're not monoliths and monstrous songs like Blurry or Rollin' or Headstrong or these type of songs. So, that's the main theme to remember on this project. But there, we're going to talk about the songs you need to hear. So, there are seven out of 11 songs. Seven being excellent is a really good thing. So, they are Shock, Edge Crusher, Smasher Devourer. Descent, High Tech Hate, Freedom or Fire, and Cars. Now, Edge Crusher is a song that was not released as a single, but that one is another one that has a good feel to it. It's not as, I mean, there's not really a single that's a clone of Shock, but it kind of sounds more similar to Descent. So you get one of those, and as to boot, it's a pretty popular song. High Tech Hate was one of the ones that I enjoyed. That one is very similar to Shock. And that was kind of the main thing that I was looking for. I just wanted this project to get more noise than it did. I mean, that's the whole thing. I don't know what happened. I mean, that's the, the thing I'm trying to figure out is just what exactly happened as far as why this record only went gold and what was the reason for the songs not charting. It, it, may, it doesn't... I mean, obviously there just must have been a lot of songs cracking up or popping up on the rock charts and there just wasn't enough room for everyone. I mean, you had Limp Biscuit around that time. You had Kid Rock around that time. You had Godsmack around that time. So there were lots of things out and about, but I'm just not sure. So yeah, that's about the only complaint. And the main reason why is because I think most people are just going to be looking for that song that's like the mega, t the the huge hit for the project, the staple, the anchor, and you know when you don't find it, it makes it feel as if this record is not as good as it is. But it is metal the whole way through. So I'd say listen to Cars, listen to Shock, listen to Descent, and let it sink in, and you should be golden. But the score is gonna get because I like seven out of eleven. I'm gonna give this album. I want to give it either an eight and a half or a nine. I'll give it an eight and a half just because it, it did need to make a little bit more noise. But as far as the rest of that's concerned, the social score, I will give a six out of ten because it did have three songs. Cars was a really good look, but it didn't really have that much else to back it up. But it did have many singles that supported it. So if you like videos, you'll probably find a few. And, you know, the future, they dropped an album in 2015. I'm pretty certain they'll, that they'll be around. And can this record be topped? The answer is, is not by much, but it just could have made more noise. <laughs>